Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and we are continuing this series about building sites with middlemen. So this is part th uh, 3 and in this part I'm going to be talking about middlemen pages and middlemen partials. So before we start I'm just going to start up my middleman server. Okay. And I'm going to start up my gulp. Uh, we did uh, gulp in the previous episode, so just write gulp watch to watch our files. And first of all, we're going to be dealing with partials. So, what are partials? Uh, partials are, let's say, snippets of code uh, that you will be, uh, will be using throughout the site. So, one example of partial would be header and a footer. So the header on your site will always be the same mostly and the foot footer of your site will always be the same. So to make partials you will have to go to layouts uh, folder and go to layout.erb. So what I like to do, let me just uh, make font a little bit bigger. So what I like to do, I actually like to have few partials uh, for displaying my page. So one is called head.html and in head.html we're going to have all of this. Uh, the other part would be foot.html. For now we're just going to have this body closing, uh, closing body tag and uh, HTML tag in it. And then we'll have our uh, header file and footer file. So we have head for, uh, head header and foot footer. So let's do this. Okay, so we're going to grab all of this right here. So everything from body to HTML, cut it, uh, make a new file, and then we're going to paste it in. So I'm going to call this file head.html.erb uh, and I'm going to save it so we're going to go save as, save it in our source and we're going to make a new folder called partials. You don't have to do this but I like to organize my files that way. So I'm going to put all my partials into a folder call, called partials. So I'm going to make a new folder called partials. And in partials I'm going to save this file and call it head. Actually, to make a when making a partial it has to start with an underscore. So underscore head dot html dot erb. Okay. So now we had have a head partial. As you can see I have partials and this head partial. Uh, for some reason uh, Sublime Text thinks this is a twig file so I'm going to have to rename it. It's just ERB and please use ERB tags for this sublime. Okay so we have rails, uh, HTML rails I think this will be it. Okay no we just put it to be ERB actually. Yeah, okay. ERB. Okay, now we have our head. Uh, next thing we're going to have our foot. So this is foot file. So we're just going to uh, have cl closing body tag and closing HTML tag in it. So I'm going to cut this out, make a new file, just paste this in and call it in of course save it in our partials and call it foot.html.erb okay now we save it now we have two of our partials we started the middleman server so let's see what we got now so if we go right here copy this URL paste it in uh, we have just hello world, but we, if we look at the source, nothing happens. Uh, let me just see. Oh, I didn't save the layout ERB file. Okay, I'm 
just gonna save it and when we refresh it now we're just going to have this welcome hello world uh, so we're just going to have the stuff that it's in uh, index.html.erb file so only this stuff as you can see we don't have uh, HTML head meta title and so on also we don't have any closing body and HTML tags so to call this partial into our uh, layout ERB file we're just going to go uh, you just make these brackets with percentages and you write equals partial partial and then you go partials head and that's it you don't have to write dot html dot erb okay so if we refresh our page now now you can see we have html head and so on let's do the same thing for foot okay so good. let's call it foot and now we're going to make footer and header files so let's do the new file and just save it and call it underscore header dot html dot erb put something in it so let's put some header in it h1 and call it I don't know this is a okay save it do the same thing for footer so let's just save it into partials for footer.html.erb save it and put some html in it also so footer okay one okay save it and now we have to call our partials so this right here and this one right here okay so we're going to call this one header and we're going to call this one footer so <coughs> why are we doing this we're doing this uh, head and header will always be the same on every page foot and footer will always be the same on every page uh, the file that is going to construct all of the content on our page is this layout.erb so it's going to call these partials first then it's going to yield uh, a content so everything that is in this index.html file is going to be in the place of this yield and then we are going to call our footer and our foot file okay let's see if this works seems to be working we can check out okay so we have this is a header this is a footer okay let's just change up this HTML file so we're going to do container okay also h1 so this is where the content goes okay so now we have header footer and our content let's just do a little bit of styling so I'm going to go to my style sheets go to header.scss and I'm going to do header background ef 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 and let's just make some pairing of 20 pixels so we can see all this better okay we can go to footer dot scss and do footer and just copy this I 
Okay, save it. Now we have this is a header footer and let's just go to globals and define our container. Container and make it have pairing of 50 pixels. Okay, so this is our header, this is the, where the content goes and this is a footer. So let, let's make pages now. Actually, we're going to do just one page. So there are two ways you can make pages. One of them is you can just go new file and let's copy out from our index.html paste this in, change the title to about page. Okay, so we're going to have about page and in the container I'm going to write this is an about page. Okay, so now we just save it and save it as about .html.erb. So remember, this page is going to be using this layout file. In the next further episodes we're going to uh, see how we can uh, use multiple layout files to let's say uh, make a different layout for our our blog different layout for our video pages and so on but for now uh, this page called about.html.erb is going to be our, our about page so just like doing with with pure uh, html and if we want to see this page we would just go to uh, our browser slash about dot html and as you can see let's refresh it again this is a header this is an about page and this is a footer okay you can do it this way if you want but the way I like to do it is make a new folder so in the source I'm going to make a new folder called about and in that folder I'm going to cut this file out cut it out and paste it into about folder okay so it's in about folder and I'm going to rename it uh, so it's not going to be called about dot uh, html erb it's going to be called index dot html erb so if I just rename it to index Okay. So now if we go to this page, we're going to go uh, get file not found of course. But to access about page right now, we just write about. So this is the way you would get pretty URLs in middleman. So you follow the same procedure for any other page you want to have on this site. So if you want to have contact us page, just make a contact us uh, folder and add index.html.erb into that folder and that's it okay i hope you guys like this episode in the next episode we are going to uh, be setting up our blog and our articles and so on i hope you like this video and this series of videos if you like it please please press like or subscribe to this channel or you can follow me on twitter and facebook and so on so see you guys in the next one